Gurudev, my mind is fairly okay when I'm in the ashram, but in the outside world I get into lustful thoughts and action. Despite 15 years of being on the path, I'm feeling that I've not made much progress. Please guide. No, 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 don't. Don't be too hard on yourself. Lustful thoughts come due to old habit, number one. Second, food and the activity that you engage in. These are the things. If you are engaging, watching all the pornography and all the things which are uh, which instigate lust, it will come. You see? But if you are keeping yourself busy in activities which are much bigger, then you will see those things don't bother you so much. And even if it comes, so what? Never mind. Those thoughts come, they go. Don't act on it and you'll be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> sadhana is very essential. Through sadhana you can control, otherwise, you know, as you age, then your body no longer can respond to it. It will go away from you. See, lust is only in between some ages, that's all. Right? It is never there when you are very young. It's never there when you are very old. So in, in this period, you, you keep, have a break. Yeah. Gurudev, I am single on Valentine's Day. It makes me feel lonely and bitter towards other couples. How do I overcome it? Come on. There is nothing idealistic about it. Okay, one day they, they exchange roses and say, Oh, honey, I love you, you love me. And you will see that it doesn't last every day like that. Yeah. If you want to have a companion, that's a different thing. Don't compare with others and think they are having a great time. That's just an illusion that you have. Yeah. You ask, many of them would say, many times feel, oh, better, I was all by myself like a bird and so free, do whatever I can now. Everything I had to consult, everything I had to get approval. This is the thing that goes on in many people's mind also. Remember, this is a secret I'm telling you. Many couples envy people who are single and having great time and freedom. They say, oh, look at that person, he's so free. <coughs> yeah. There is a saying, the other, the, what, the other bank is always greener, right? Huh? Grass is always greener on the other bank. Yeah, that's it. But... Uh, but I'm not discouraging you to have a relationship. You can have, no problem. But don't have to feel down only on one day. If you're feeling down on every day, it's a different thing. <laughs> yeah. Gurudev, in many depictions of the, of the Kali Devi, she is shown as standing on Shiva. Is there any underlying message here for husbands or boyfriends? <laughs> when you cannot sta control somebody standing up, you lie down and then, <laughs> then you can control somebody. <laughs> That's the message Shiva is giving. Shiva could not control Kali standing up. And so he lay down. Uh, he lay down in front of her and she stepped on him. Then she felt very shy and she became calm. And that's the story. Kali became Shanta, Shanta Kali, Shanta Durga. I mean, the deeper significance is that 
Kali is symbol of knowledge and Shiva is the one who represents infinity and transcendence beyond this material world. So the true knowledge dawns to you when you go beyond the five senses, when you have the transcendental knowledge. Then true, when, when you have transcendental experience, true wisdom dawns. That is what it is.